pump for today. I'm at the thrift store, one of my favorite thrift stores, and I'm gonna go inside and find some gems with you. Obviously, I'm looking for multiple things, but high on my list of priorities is Lizzie McGuire fashion. It's been on my mind a lot lately. I'm kind of obsessed with her. Let's be real, I've been obsessed with Lizzie McGuire since middle school. I want to be her. I love her style. She is the girl. She is the moment. She is an icon. Her style is iconic. It is the best. It's bold. It's colorful. Gone are the days of gray, which I never really got into. I did my best. I've dabbled a little bit, but to my core, I am colorful and bold, and that's what she's all about. I think it all started with Lizzie McGuire, so we're going to continue on that train. There are a few other things that I'm hoping to find today at the thrift store, so let's hop inside and see all of the gems that they have for us. The parking lot is packed, so let's cross our fingers. I'm gonna start in the shoes here. Obviously, the iconic orange platform flip-flops. If we can find those here, I think it'll really set the tone for the rest of the day. I don't see any flip-flops, really. I mean, these are really fun. I think I'm getting a blister just looking at those, though. <laughs> Could these be a contender? platform heel-ish. Ooh, what about these? I think this is the best we're gonna do. No, it's probably for the best. I don't wear flip-flops anyway. Let's check out some closed-toed orange shoes. Found some really sweet orange closed-toed like ballerina flats. A little point there. They're $13. I need to figure out which is on sale today, what colors are on sale today. The brand is violet and red. I don't know. They look too small for me. I also wanted to point these out. They look and feel like Rothy's. I don't know. And then these are funky and fresh, totally Liz McGuire style. Bold. I mean, I don't know about that kitten heel, but who wears kitten heel in middle school? These are also really cute. Aerosols. Behind me, they have a ton of sneakers. I am going to peek on the sneakers. Sometimes they have like almost brand new sneakers and I'm in need of some. I do oh, these cute little Tommies. Peach. And then what is this? Sushi. Oh, how funny are those? Are these Keds? No, they're Vans. I found a pair of Keds here, and oh, I'm actually wearing them today. They're amazing. New Balance, I hear a lot of people talking about these. They've been a father favorite for quite some time, and for good reason, it's because they're super comfortable. Ooh, some water shoes. Someone already tried to take my cart. It's pretty busy up in here today. Ooh, this would be fun. Fun and funky is green tag on sale. It is my size. I love a good bold shoe. Ooh, these would be fun. Definitely not my size, but the brand looks nice. You know what brand I found in baby shoes here is Sea Kai Run. Literally $2. They sell for $45 online. I'm not exaggerating. And I have found three pairs for Wolfgang. And you know how fast kids' shoes, like how fast they grow out of them. Brooks, a, a pair of Brooks, those look a little worn. So not for me, but I'm gonna keep an eye out and keep on looking for some bold colors here. Oh, actually, bedazzle shoes? <laughs> Speaking of bedazzled over here, <laughs> what did I step into? What dimension? The Xenon girl of the 21st century? 31st, I can't remember. She's amazing too. Always checking out the white shoes. Those look really nice. Hardly ever worn. I like these orthopedic looking shoes. Is that Michael Kors? Does that mean they're, oh my gosh, this is a joke. $25. Someone's gonna have some orthopedic Michael Kors. This is more my style though. Mine, I had a pair of these vintage ones. They kind of fell apart on me. I mean, they are vintage after all. I can't tell you how many times I've thought, you know what I need? A white pair of cowboy boots. You think I'm joking, I'm not. <laughs> Look, they're basically brand new. Amazing. Lots of black boots too. I'm in Florida, I don't really need boots, but these are really cute. I'm gonna come down the kids shoe aisle too. I am looking for, are these cleats? Those are too big. Ooh, flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> Wentworth needs some BMX shoes. I don't know what kind of shoes he can wear for BMX. I tried to Google it. Alex usually brings him, so I don't even see other kids wear it. I think these are Avelina size, so I'm gonna snap a picture and see if she wants those. Pink isn't really her color, but anyway, BMX shoes. He kept calling them boots. Those are all snow boots up there. Oh my heck, I don't even wear heels this big. I'm still in the kids section. Look, check these out. Aren't these the most darling little shoes you've ever seen? Hard to find a size. I don't know, I still can't find a size. I'm trying to compare them to other shoes. These are Hush Puppies, ooh. They're Eleanor size, but for $35. Oh, wait, wait, the mob wife aesthetic. That's totally in. Michael Kors, 
What? I am not in Kansas anymore. I'm seeing so many cute shoes like Mickey. I don't know what kind of shoe that is. Kind of looks like a van. And then these jellies are really bringing me back. No Seekai Run shoes today, but I did find these sweet little Dalmatian Reeboks. Look, they have like dog ears and everything. I wish these were in my size. Totally, li oh my gosh, Twinkle Toes. Totally Liz McGuire. The butterfly, the colors. I would buy if they were my size. Also these little ice cream shoes. <laughs> I am always a huge fan of their book section. This is where I always come when I'm looking for books. And Wentworth for Valentine's Day, his classroom is doing, instead of like giving everyone just a random Valentine that's gonna inevitably end up in the garbage, they're suggesting everyone to bring in a book. Ooh, fancy, that's actually fantastic. That's a fantastic find for $3. <laughs> how big that is. I find so many great books here. Stella Luna, like come on. Also $3 for this one if white tag is not on sale. That's actually uh, such a classic, you know what I mean? Oh my word, Bean Petit. I've never heard of this before, but it sounds like a page turner. Bunch of recipes with beans in them. Starry Night Bites. So it's like a healthy kid fun cookbook. I'm actually looking for, oh, it's okay to be different. That's what Liz McGuire is all about, I'm just saying. She was quirky, she was cool, she was lovable, relatable, all the fun things. They even have corduroy here. So many board books, but I am looking for educational books. Oh, Spots and Dots. Ooh, some fun ones here too. I will say, seeing that Stella Luna book just brought back a flood of memories, you guys. I was feeling like the most horrible mom in the world because you know my kids do this project at in school it, when they're in pre-k three and i remembered what each of my other kids were during said project but i could not remember what eleanor was and she was stella luna oh ninja turtles over 30 stickers multiple books in a bag for three dollars it's just such a great find when you can Get a bundle of books this does anyone else get excited about books like this good i'm glad to hear it found so many more great books they had a ton of these kind an elephant and piggy books is there a bird in your head i love this and then they had a bunch of eric carl down there great finds and then the used born books whenever i find these i'm like oh my gosh these are probably pricey as heck three dollars I gotta find out what tag is on sale, but this has literally never been used. It's like writing prompts. I think this will be great. You know, Avelina has been asking for a vanity when she moves into her new room. Hey, here I am. Do you think she'll love this one as much as I love it? This is, oh my gosh, this is so sweet. $45. Oh, it's so beautiful. Hey, speaking of 90s classics and Lizzie McGuire's rival, I stink in love, Lindsay Lohan. And I think she actually was offered the role or was in talks to, um, oh, look, another one. Here, trap. To becoming Lizzie McGuire. I don't know. Classic Halloween. I don't know why I'm looking at VHSs. Why do I love VHSs so much? These are all the classics. Bugs Life, Mary Poppins, Three a Goofy Movie. Come on, 101 Dalmatians. We got Seinfeld happening. Hey, if you're getting rid of your cable or streaming services, come on over. Hey, I had the um, original Little Mermaid case with the castle in the back. You know what I'm talking about. These were just propped up here. I am a simple gal. I see something colorful and I'm gonna stop and peek on them. These are Mootsies Tootsies. I don't know, but they are colorful. I don't know if they're my size, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, they are. I think I can live without them though. Not sure if I'm venturing into the uh, top section yet, but I saw this whole section of vests and it just brought back memories. Oh, heck yes, here it is. Liz McGuire singing with Aaron Carter and she got to kiss him. Worst day of my life, NV1000. My mistake, it was Erin Carter that was wearing the tinfoil jacket, not Liz McGuire, but at one point she did have, I think it might have been like Christmas music video where she had a long sleeve turtleneck where it was kind of asymmetrical. I obsessed about that sweater. I had one just That's like That's amazing. Also, could work for Xenon, girl of the 21st century. 22nd century? I can't remember. This is a beautiful print. Kind of looks like a robe. And then this kind of material is really catching my eye. I am a simple gal. I see tassels and my interest is peaked. Oh my gosh, is this Lily? It's an extra small. Oh, I feel like I could maybe squeeze into this. No, I don't know. My shoulders are a little broad. You know what I'm hoping to find? Miracle find Lisa Frank t-shirt. 
At least that's what Liz McGuire is all about. Honestly, I saw some pictures of her. Like, you know how they were going to do a reboot and stuff, and then they ended up not doing it because... I guess they didn't make her adult enough for Hillary Duff. I don't really know the ins and outs of it. I mean, I could call her and find out because we're besties. But from the pictures that I saw, she looked amazing. And that's what really sparked this. She had a lot of, like, some of the same styles. Obviously, when she was younger, she had a ton of patterns going on. She had very bold, like, mix and match patterns. She also, in the reboot, had a lot of bold colors. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Well, this fit me. Anyway, so she had, you know, her classic t-shirts on, kind of quirky, kind of cool, just like she is. And one of them obviously is like an iconic cat t-shirt. And then the other one was the Lisa Frank shirt. And I said, oh, I'm instantly obsessed, need to find myself. And then obviously the unicorn sweater. I mean, instant classic as soon as we saw that. You know what I'm talking about from picture day. Oh, this is beautiful too. I feel like that's a true vintage number. I don't know if I'll be able to stop thinking about this until I try it on. $25 though. I think blue is half off. <laughs> I don't really know. This is actually really cool. Looks really comfy, giving kind of Johnny Was vibes. I don't know the brand. Ooh, lucky brand. Hey, not my size, but like that oversized look is in. I just don't need any more cardigans because I live in Florida and I know the cool weather is really only going to last a couple more days. And you know, I'm a logical gal. <laughs> actually, this one looks really cute too. This is what I like to call a, f wait, what, ha what is happening here? It's not on a hanger. I guess, you, oh, it has some buckles here. What's the brand? I don't know. AW style, ooh. I like the feel of this Florida sweater. It doesn't have long sleeves. Ooh, a bright pink. This one's really cute too. And actually, this is a one size. I feel like this is what Liz McGuire is all about. The layering pieces, the butterflies. There aren't any butterflies on that, but you know what I'm saying. Is it just me or am I thinking of that one episode where she had like sheer poofy sleeves? and it looked just so beautiful. I don't know, what kind of bra do you wear with that though? You know what I mean? It's beautiful, but impractical. I also like this with the colorful rainbow stripes. Oh, it's been a while since I looked at two piece sets. Hold up, I knew we'd find something amazing for that mob wife aesthetic. <laughs> Is that too plain? Do we need an animal print? Oh, I'm sorry. Do they have a loan department here? This must be real. It is $124 if you missed the tag. That's what they're trying to charge for it. And then, hold on, I've been on the hunt for like a full quilted cardigan like this. That is the only exception. I will buy a cardigan if it is full and quilted. Let's keep looking. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this homemade? <gasps> I feel like maybe. I don't know what animal that is. Emu, maybe, llama. All right, I'm gonna pass on that one. Coldwater Creek style. That is my coastal grandma aesthetic that I actually love. I usually don't look in the like t-shirt section. This one caught my eye. I don't know if someone like put it down or whatever. Love the sleeves on this, totally 80s. I would never wear that, but I would admire someone else Oh my gosh, are these the orange flip flops we're looking for? I've made it to some colorful prints. So far, nothing is jumping out at me that screams Lizzie. And I feel like one of the reasons, ooh, Peloton, show up and shine. Does anyone do Peloton? Never got into it. The bike is just so pricey. I'll do biking or whatever. I thought there was a cat on that. I was about to scream. Oh my gosh, look at all the knickknacks up top too. Oh, there's just way too much to look at. All right, this is funky. I don't, mm, is this a top? Maybe I'm just in my golden girl era. I mean, I've been in that, but do you know what I mean? Like, what's it called? What's the aesthetic called when you're a homemaker? <laughs> Not sure there is one, but like this. You know what I mean. Not homely, but like that's the word I want to use, but I know that has a different meaning. This but obviously not a crop top where it's gonna show my entire belly. I think this is it, like a quilted, kind of looks homemade. I feel like someone picked these three tops and just popped them here. Pink pants, what, I'm sorry, two pink pants? What is this madness? This is actually a vintage two-piece set. Never worn, it looks like it still has a button on there. The pinks are slightly different colors and I don't know why they do this. It's like impossible to try them on. They put the security tag. I mean, I get it. They're trying to keep it together, but 
Anyway, I love the jacket. <laughs> this is just a mess and a half. This is super cute too. Loving that top. I think the problem is I don't really like to wear t-shirts. Oh, I really like this actually. Kind of the uh, quiet luxury vibe. Oh, I am in need some, of some workout tops. That might fit the bill. I really like this one too. And it's petite, new with tags. Is white tag on sale? I don't know. I guess we'll try it on. Really like this one, loft. Ooh, this is totally Lily. Lily, I mean Lizzie. Is Lily Pulitzer Liz and McGuire all grown up? Conspiracy theory. <laughs> Should I just get a Peloton shirt, even though I don't do Peloton? Ooh, Cabbie, that's a really expensive brand. Did someone just dump their favorites here? Because I kind of dig everything I just looked at. I was just thinking a minute. You think Liz and McGuire grew up to be a sophisticated lady? This is Ginger G. I like the feel of that. Love the cactuses on there. I think it's very cool. Are these the graphic tees? I don't really know, but I feel like this is our chance to find Lisa Frank. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was Lily. Check this out. So beachy. I can totally dig it. Okay, a lion. Well, not quite a cat. Well, I mean, I guess it is a cat. You know what I'm talking about? Banana Repub, I kind of like that. Come on, Lisa Frank, where are you at? I know I'm gonna find something amazing today. Oh my gosh, Justin Timberlake. I think he has a new album coming out. <laughs> I don't know, I can't keep up with everything. Wow, everyone's getting rid of their Peloton stuff, I guess. Ooh, is this the closest thing we're gonna find to Lisa Frank? I hope not. I swear, white boots are just gonna haunt me the rest of my life, I think. I did find some more teas over here that I'm gonna sift through. So far, no Lisa Frank, if you're wondering. Ooh, the best mom. Okay, well, that is interesting. That is for a specific type of buyer, not even gonna lie. Ooh, Tony's Restaurant, oh my gosh, why do I love this? In the cart. I am definitely for a, oh my gosh, you're my lobster. Why am I finding all the good ones? I don't really like shirts that have words on them, but I might make an exception for that. Ooh, love. I feel like, I feel like Lizzie would wear that. It is a little big. I'm gonna think on that. It does have a word on it. Ooh, another. I'm flying up to the clouds. Like this, the, the words. So I sifted through, I found some gems. If you are looking for some interesting shirts, look no further. Actually, this is, Amazing. I didn't realize they're like crocheted on here. It's Zara. Look no further than your local thrift store. <laughs> like, come on. Class of 2004. Girls night out. Let's go. Also this. I'm. I, does that count as a cat? I'm going to say no, but okay. Here's some black shirts that I was sifting through and I found that I thought were really interesting. Like, mm, I'm sorry, what? I got your back. I thought that was funny. Mama, does this count as mob wife aesthetic? I'm not sure what to think about that one. This was interesting. I actually kind of like this. I don't, peanuts kind of rule the world. Who rule the world? Peanuts. And then this one I thought was totally Lizzie aesthetic. Um, you definitely have to wear something underneath it, which I would never do, but this one as well, 90s vibes to the max. And their little section of animal print. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about when I say mob wife aesthetic, apparently it's like a new, older thing. I'm not into it, but it's definitely catching on a little bit more, more here. I think I'm into this more than anything else, but I will say I used to have, oh, I actually like this more than anything else, giving Cracker Barrel, Barrel vibes. <laughs> Hold on, did I just find the ultimate? This is it, love that so much. I used to have a full on cheetah print everything. Leopard, cheetah, I don't know. I feel like they look pretty similar to me, but my whole room was decked out. I had a robe, I had it all. It was hilarious. <laughs> I breezed by and of course I saw this little number, $15. Actually not bad for a Lily t-shirt. I like the print on this one too, that's cute. Okay, I feel like this is definitely more of a wearable piece that she would wear. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I don't wear any prints, so I'll try it out. So someone found a big Bertha bowl. I'm not gonna, I mean, no one's around the cart, so I think I could definitely take it. Ooh, an Aldi bag. Look at this, good vibes only. Actually, how much is this Aldi bag? This is a nice size bag. This is a nice one too. You guys know my weakness for grocery bags. Also this. 
I don't know how much it is in the grocery store. This looks cute. I need to actually start looking around for stuff that I need for Meredith's costume. <laughs> Ooh, the Patriots. <laughs> I've not given up on my cat sweater finds, but I did take a little detour. To, I used to have this in a diaper bag. Oh my gosh, spent an arm and a leg on it. Oh, I like the look of this, the Lancome. I just like it because it's purple. Anyway, I thought I'd take you around and show you the bag options that they have. The purses. Oh, Walt Disney World. All right, they're trying to sell this for $6. I feel like someone probably bought it for a lot more than that. He kind of looks like, oh, what? Oh my gosh, it's Meredith's favorite ride. I forgot the name of it. Mickey and Minnie's Railroad Adventure or something. Nothing can stop us now. I don't know how. She always sings it and I'm surprised she knows the song because really, I think we've only been on it twice. It's such a good ride. I think that's our favorite. I see so many Vera Bradley, like these quilted bags. I really like them a lot. So I think this is really beautiful for like the farmhouse vibe. Oh my gosh, that's a lot heavier than I thought it was. I just wanted to check this out, see how big it is because I have a trifle dish. Oh my gosh, this is actually manageable for like a one family size if you're not serving a whole dang party. Do you know what I mean? I love when things still come in a box. $10, is white tag on sale? I don't want to spend $10. Like, do I need that? No, someone else is going to love it. I always have my eyes peeled for old-fashioned thermoses, always looking for a whisk of any kind because I have a problem. I always love this section over here too because you literally never know what you're going to find. Does that say canner? Oh, canned beer. All right, anyone need some canned beer? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a classic pop. I don't know what is in here. Oh, an acrylic paint set for $20. Ooh, a Pampered Chef. I love anything Pampered Chef. I don't know what this is. Is this just a little dish? All right, well, I don't love that as much as I thought I would. I always see a ton of pasta makers. What, does that say $34? Can't even speak. This must be an amazing brand. Oh, I think it is, the Nor Pro. I mean, if you ask me, a pasta maker is a pasta maker is a pasta maker. So this is actually something that I was hoping to find, not this exact item, but like learning resources. This, these are answer boards. Ooh, teams, individual boards for every student. How many are in here? $6. There are 10 pieces and I just love it because it's dry erase. And can I tell you, I went to parent teacher conferences recently and I went to this room that I don't typically go to. It's like a newer, they kind of redid the room. The details are irrelevant but they have tables that the top of the table is a dry erase board. So the kids, rather than going through a whole bunch of scrap paper or, you know, all kinds of things that kids get into, you know, it's just so convenient to have that. And I thought we need one of those for upstairs because oh, a rainbow whisk. Too bad it's like ruined in there. If it wasn't ruined, I would be wasting $8 on a whisk <laughs> so probably for the best these silicone cupcake liners too is that a pizza cutter <gasps> this bag has absolute gems it has a little mermaid tray this is an omelet maker but for the microwave i keep dropping it oh my gosh so many gems in this bag Oh, someone's going to be real happy when they find it anyway did my did i finish my story about the uh, dry erase board table kind of want one Ooh, are we gonna find a pressure canner? Here's a pressure cooker. I don't know the difference, unless it's labeled. Is that? No, pressure cooker, speed cooker. All right, I actually ordered one. I haven't used it yet. Is this a rice maker? I need one of those. See, I don't know what anything is unless it's labeled. This is a lot prettier than my Instant Pot though. I'm gonna tell you that right now, but for 30, $24. <laughs> I think even if it was five, I'd be like, mm, I don't know. Ooh, are these strawberries? No, it's pineapple. The pink pineapple though. What's this, a cat? Nah. Anyway, sometimes it's not the price. It's just, do you need it slash want it? Oh, hold on. Now this one says homestead. Do you see that? A homestead snack set? Oh, by Federal Glass. I'm trying to sell it for eight stinking dollars. What is this, kiwi? Oh, infused water. They do have some fun stuff here. I'm not gonna lie, what's this? Oh, a teacher, world's best teacher. <laughs> this is super cute baked brie. 
and it's new. It looks like something from like Home Goods or oh, it is from Home Goods. Thirteen dollars. I wish they didn't cover it up. I wonder how much it actually costs at Home Goods. Are they okay? No one's gonna spend thirteen dollars on that. Ooh, Life with Laney has one of these. It's a popcorn popper. See, I know because it's labeled. You put the kernels in, and then you put like a chunk of butter up there, and then it melts on the kernels. It's actually fantastic. I am looking for some wide mouth jars because, oh, $2. I feel like if I buy a whole set, they come out to less than $2. Is white tag on sale? <laughs> I haven't told you guys the sale colors because I haven't looked yet. I think red is 75% off and blue is 50. There's another color, yellow maybe. I don't know, I feel like I haven't seen any of those. Ooh, the Classico. Again, are they okay? A dollar. This is garbage, literally garbage. Okay, one man's trash though, you know what they say. Oh my goodness, found a gem. Three dollars for this? Like, I don't know where it's been. What does it smell like? It smells delightful. This is actually what I wanted to show you. These Temptations sets down here. I love that they come in their own little caddy. I actually got rid of mine. I got platters several years ago from the thrift store, but I love that they're matching. They don't come together though. You have to buy them separately, 15 and 10, but I feel like those used to resell or I don't know. My aunt really loves them. Apparently they're easy to clean. That's all I know about them. Oh wow, this bowl set too. It's a shame they're trying to sell them separately. Just sell it as a set. I always love looking at the picture frame section. I'm always on the hunt for like the smaller ones. I never really dig for them. So that's why I never really find them. Oh, that's not what I was expecting it to be. I thought it was gonna be like floral and antique -y. Definitely wasn't. But, oh, I found some candles if you're looking for Valentine's Day gifts. But again, are they okay? $13. Yes, it's never been burned or whatever, but come on. This is the thrift store. $8 for this one. This has never been burned. I just smelled it really good. It's a Bath and Body Works candle. I'm sure brand new you could find sales for those for less than $8. I'm surprised I don't see any Easter eggs. Oh, I see a little bag to the left. Okay, coming up on the Easter egg section. By Easter egg, I mean knickknacks i don't know what i was expecting i thought everything was gonna look like this <laughs> actually i love her she's real cute two bucks see that's what i'm talking about two dollars everyone's parents used to have something like this i'm surprised she has clothes on actually <gasps> Ooh, are we gonna find the cat clock today i'm looking hey they sell these at ikea how much are they here a dollar in the cart you got yourself a sale there I do like that Santa Claus up top. See, that's what I'm talking about. Naked. <laughs> I haven't seen those in people's houses recently, but back in the day, I feel like everyone had one. You know what I mean? Oh, see, naked, another one. One of my favorite sections. <gasps> Hold on a second here. What do I have? What do we have? Someone's putting some stuff out over here, over here, over here. All right, nothing that piques my interest actually. <gasps> Ooh, I say that and then this. I recently got something similar to this, less yellow, but this is totally Lizzie vibes. Anyway, back to the arts and crafts. This is one of my favorite sections. It looks really picked over. Ooh, paint with water, Melissa and Doug. This is $2. And just the paint with water thing. Ooh, that permanent marker alone is more than two bucks. All the markers that you get included. We've got color wonder. Who knows if any of those actually work though? You know what I mean? But the paint with water stuff, those are expensive. Those are like $8 a piece, maybe five. I'm gonna get it just for that. I also see some Little Mermaid stickers here. That's really fun. Some chalk in there too. Lots of erasers and staplers. Ooh, if you do crafting, they have all kinds of stuff. Oh, I am looking for like a little punch doodle, but not in the shape of a mason jar. Thank you so much. Ooh, one time I did see a cricket here. This is creative station light before cricket actually i am looking for a circle one is this a circle oh my gosh for four stinking dollars thank you so much that's been on my wish list for a while this is a nice little set for a dollar comes with paints the kids are always looking for random stuff like that to do i'm not really sure what this is Oh my heck, this is a find and a half. How much is this? Two, three dollars, two ninety nine for all of these. I'm pretty sure I have a set of these. Would it hurt to have another one? 
because we use ours all the time. They're bound to run out. These are really pricey. I'm talking like 20 bucks. Great find. I found some pretty sweet looking clocks. No cats thus far. Best grandma ever though. I see that. I see some pigs. Actually a lot of pigs. Are these all piggy banks? That's funny. Have you ever had a piggy bank? I don't, I'm not sure if I ever, I mean, maybe I did, but I definitely didn't use it. Used an actual bank where my money can compound interest. Hey, this is a special find. I'm not, I don't know if it actually works. I think his hand is supposed to be up and then you crank it and then the M&Ms come on out. Oh, that's cool. They're trying to sell this piece of crap for three bucks. I feel like I might actually have good luck looking in the kids section for a cat shirt and now I'm all distracted by the bathing suits. That one's really cute. It's actually amazing, but this is a Betsy Johnson bathing suit. Oh, such a shame. Too big for my kids. I'm also gonna look for educational games and toys, four-in-one puzzles. Melissa and Doug have some good stuff. Stop it right now. <gasps> they have multiple. Somebody needs to stop it. Oh, actually, how much is this? $2? All right, done. It's not what I was looking at. I think you, oh, KiwiCo. I got one last time for the kids. Okay, see, I'm all kinds of distracted. What's in here? Woven landscapes. Hey, hey. Four bucks, come on, a doodle crate. Eleanor loves the doodle crates. I got you. Four bucks is a screaming dang deal. There's one more up in here. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. Did anyone have inflatable furniture? Hands up. I don't know why I'm singing it. I'm just so dang excited about it. Also, Barbie over here. Love bar what's happening in here, actually. 60 fashion bra Draw cards, collect bracelets. It's an interesting game. <laughs> it's $5. Is white tag half off? I am about to buy one of these for each of my children. I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. I'm gonna leave them like that so someone else buys them, though. I feel like everything in the kids' section, like this is screaming Lisa Frank. Do I think I can fit one of this around, like, one of my ties? Should I at least try to squeeze it around my birthing hips? Like this is screaming Lizzie. I just had a revelation. Oh my gosh, the overalls. I think Eleanor has Lizzie McGuire fashion and I am into it like this all day. I have nothing special to show you. I'm just so excited that all the small things is playing on the loudspeaker. Commiserating, come on, I know you know, say it ain't so, I will not go, turn the lights off, carry me, what? Such a jam. I don't know why I'm looking like I'm actually going to be able to fit into any of this. <laughs> I'm really just looking to push it on my kids. Oh my gosh, mob wife aesthetic. So I thought this said potty, and then it says, I have a leg cramp. And I was like, wait, people getting leg cramps on the potty? It is a pottery kit for $3. Eleanor loves pottery kits. And then I found these. I just needed to show someone. This is the most darling thing. It's definitely homemade. It won't fit anyone I know. This is also super darling and I thought I was gonna get it from Meredith, but it's almost summer. She has so many sweatshirts. And then I found this one. I was like, um, I don't think I can leave this behind. Is white tag on sale? Love it. Wish they had it in my size. All right, let's keep on going. <laughs> Finding so many KiwiCo crates here. Oh, learning resources, dominoes. <gasps> so many things, right? And I have put so many in my cart. A DIY slime kit, get that the heck out of my face. Oh, look at this one here. The This one's a KiwiCo crate, the solar system. We've made this one before and <laughs> it's so much fun. My kids love them. So I'm excited to have found those. So I'm just looking for a yellow top for Meredith for her costume. And I found this one and it's this brand, Mini Bowden. Oh, that's what it is, Bowden. That's an expensive brand. Okay, so just a yellow top. It's literally the only one I could find. That one has a bunch of, looks like someone like did a cricket on it or something. It looks super cute, but not what I'm looking for. Anyway, didn't we, isn't that this brand too? It is. Bowden, mini Bowden. And then the other day I had someone come over the house and they were talking about, they asked me if what I had on was the brand Bowden and I was like, I've never heard of that. But isn't it funny how you hear something once and then you see it a million more times? Critter clay, we have something like this and we're missing the keys. Hover ball hockey set, that actually looks real fun. Just sifting through, looking for stuff from my kids. And what do I find? The most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, why don't they make this style for adults? This is so dang cute. 
I mean, I get it. Maybe there's a reason why, but I want to be fun and funky too. This is 18 month. I feel like it'll fit Wolfgang, but it's not cold for very much longer. I don't know. If white tag's on sale, I'm doing it. I don't even care, okay? I don't care about any of this. Actually, this is really cool too. Oh my gosh, it has a padded push push thing. Car I found this. I think Wolfgang would really love it. We used to have it, but slowly but surely throughout the past 10 years, we've lost pieces and I don't know, we've just gotten rid of them. It's a drum. It's a whole thing. This is a great brand. Okay, green tag is half off. Yellow tag is half off. Blue tag is half off. Red tag is 75% off. Wait, was green in there? Green? Blue? I feel like there was another color. I don't know. <laughs> this is the outdoor section that always has like, you know, the outdoor stuff. What are these ice skates? Oh my heck, those are so fun. They've got roller skates and stuff. They obviously have like the life vests, which are super great, $6. Like come on for life vests. And then I saw this water sprinkler for four. Like they sell in store for at least 15. So that's a screaming deal. Always right after I buy one that I find one at the thrift store, $13. Oh wait, this is a s'more. Okay, I thought it was the fondue set. I feel like I've seen those here before. That warming thing, that's cool. You know what I've seen the other day? Okay, this is a pasta maker. A hundred dollars? That is the supreme dream of pasta makers, I assume. Ooh, an icy thing. Ours is good, the one that I bought here, but the door is broken, so I don't know. It works good enough. Ooh, let's see. Boring. Oh, I'm sorry. Does anyone know what this is? Anyone? Class? Class? I'm about to get this for when we go to the beach house so Wentworth can pack his things. How adorable. Is there a price on here? Sad to report, I don't see a price. It's probably like $15. Ooh, my boy aesthetic. In the toy section, I'm kind of making my way around. What is happening here? Is that a bed frame? I don't really know, but this caught my eye. Connor and then the toy chest. I hope someone named Connor comes by and snags that. That is actually a beautiful little chest if you're trying to store stuff oh my gosh we found the cat look at this hand painted 45 dollars <laughs> i mean i get it it's art i understand i support it what else can we find down here oh if you saw what i saw did you see it hold up hold up that shoe rack i've gotten two of them from here so far oh my gosh it's the vanity stool we have to i mean we have to put this where it belongs right we got to do it no big deal just if someone buys this they need the stool right just over here doing the lord's work okay now it's a complete set oh so cute just so you know i did get a standing ovation from the uh passer buyers that saw me do that i'm <laughs> just kidding no one noticed look if my kids were here they would put that on and run around Ooh, all the Christmas skirts. I didn't see any of those around Christmas time. Oh, back to here, this drum set. That's what, that's what I was eyeing. Is green tag half off? I forgot. Not that I want a drum set, but I know. Oh, it's missing a symbol. I'm sure we could just buy a symbol, you know? If I showed this to Alex, he would say, get it for Wentworth, you know? He got a guitar for Christmas and I'm just dealing with that noise. Okay, <laughs> an electric guitar. <laughs> so back to our regularly scheduled program. I don't know how, but I've made it in the bathing suit section and they have a whole spot over here dedicated to the mob wife. I mean, I can dig it. Listen, ladies, you rock it. You rock those animal prints. I'm more of a floral gal myself. I don't know how I feel about even looking at a bathing suit right now. Ooh, I do like this bright pink. So it's not a cat, but are we getting close? I feel like, I feel like we're getting pretty close here. I'm in the workout tops right now, actually. This one's pretty nice. I wear stuff like that as like PJs. I don't know if I need any more workout tops, but if I don't do laundry every few days, then I kind of do need more workout tops. Do you feel me? Uh, the dress aisle is hopping. The only thing that caught me here, actually that lunchbox. Avelina does need a lunchbox. This is what caught me. Ooh, so beautiful. Really like this one too. Love this bright pink. So here's the thing with dresses. I'm realizing I have a lot of dresses, but I don't wear many of them. And maybe I should start looking into like getting more shirts. Oh, I really like this one. This one's super cute. I just like on the daily, you know, I see people on Instagram 
YouTube, just in their dresses, making food. I'm like, I don't really get dressed up to uh, cook my family dinner, but should I? You know what I mean? Like this? Oh, come on. Could you imagine me making French toast? I do know that Easter is coming up and it's coming up quick. It is early this year. It is at the end of March. This one's really pretty. All right, not Lily vibes though, although I do see some animal print. Lily's more of a um, not animal print, but every other print mixed and matched. I like the look of this bag and I peeked on the price and I was like, oh, 25 bucks, but is green tag on sale? Not that I need it, but oh, it's Kate Spade. I'm not sure that changes my opinion on it, but <laughs> I do like Kate Spade's uh, perfume. I got a sniff of it the other day. There's another bag over there. Another gal came up and asked me if I was getting the bag and I said, no, no, you take it, you take it. You're gonna love it. So hopefully she loves it. Oh my gosh, I have been looking for a mini hat like this. Just for no good reason. Ooh, eight dollars. Do I wear hats? Who do I think I am? That's the thing, though. You can be anyone when you go to the thrift store, right? Now I'm out of the corner of my. I'm like, is she gonna put that bag down? <laughs> Found some Barbie pants. Ooh, they're like two-tone Barbie pants. I don't know why they make the size always so hard to find, but I don't think I'll ever wear those. Anyway, if I find a cat shirt, if I have any chance of finding one, it'll definitely be in the pajamas section in the adults. Randomly found this in the pajama section. It sells for 35. They're trying to sell it for 13, but I just think this is so cute. I've never been into Gucci's style. Maybe it's just because I can't afford it, but <laughs> I don't know. Nothing about it is like, oh wow, that is fashion. I am in the two piece pajama sets for now. And next will be a, I think the two piece actual sets. I don't see anything too flashy. I think they've been separating them lately, which kind of makes me sad. <gasps> Ooh, found this. This is super cute. I wish it was Capri or something else. I don't know, will I regret not looking into that further? That might be pajamas anyway. This is a super cute two-piece set as well. This looks like really comfortable. Ooh, vacay all day. Comes with a skirt. I hope I have time to like look in the skirt section too. This is another one. Ooh, extra small. What's happening here? A wrap dress with a top, that's nice. Ooh, and then sunflowers. Made it to the skirts. This could be something. I feel like it's too heavy. Oh, here we go. This is definitely something. There's just so many of them. Some people say mod wife aesthetic, but I say, man, I feel you like a woman. Is this a rolling pin? It's like a really interesting rolling pin. Finding a lot of mini skirts that I like. I just found, oh, this one. So super cute. The trick is finding something bold, but wearable. <laughs> oh yes. Those hibiscus flowers. Definitely bringing me back to like Hollister days. Like look how mini that is. I just could never. And then the longer ones. Oh, these are shorts from Lily. My cheeks would be hanging off of those. Well, that was disappointing. The skirt section was a flop and a half. Well, the coat section is pop in per the usual. Billy Bong. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Probably not. I've gotten over my red coat obsession. Mostly because last time I was here, I got that grandpa red coat and I've been loving it. Actually, this looks really nice. This looks like a good BMX jacket, but way too big for Wentworth. Look at me, I'm like, oh, I'm so over my red coat obsession. Yeah, and then I'm looking at all the red coats, hoping secretly that I find the red coat of my dreams. Okay, well, I'm glad that's over. What else can we find? I need to get this one for Avelina, baby girl. I saw this one out of the corner of my stinking eye. This is so nice. I would never wear it, especially during summertime. It is so... I knew we'd find something. Is this my size? I don't know, but it is that even a cat? See, I'm not even sure. What size is $5? Love notes. I would never wear this. <laughs> Time to make some decisions. I think this is like the coolest graphic tee that we found. I don't think this is going to fit me, but I do love the vibe. I mean, I guess I have to try it, right? Come on, I think I love it. I think uh, trying it on, I thought I was gonna hate it, but I love it. <laughs> All right, it, it, it is a little short though. Okay, 
That was 99 cents, by the way. This is a hard no. It's a hard pass. <laughs> this is why I don't wear t-shirts. Oh my gosh, I feel like Chessie. Ch did she tie it? I don't know. What did she wear with it? I'm never going to tie it. I just like it open. I don't, what do I need with this? This shirt is $14.99 if blue tag is not half off. I don't know about this either. <laughs> Am I just wearing the wrong pants with it? So I think this is the Lily's Pulitzer. I hate it. Who would leave this gem behind? This is so cute. I really like it. Unironically. <laughs> Why? Should I leave it open? I don't know how we should do this here. How do we style things? I think I need to cut bangs to be as cool as Lizzie McGuire, but I just, crew necks aren't for me. Eh. Let's give it a chance here. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Not for me. This one could have been a contender. Is it still? I don't know. I don't think I'll ever wear it, but like maybe I'll wear it. Maybe I won't wear it. Probably won't. I'm leaning on the no side of things. Unfortunately, I feel like this is the nicest thing. <laughs> I feel like this is the nicest thing I've tried on. It looks the best on me. All right, the lily top. Not it, it's not it. I had to go back for this one and I absolutely regret my decision. I feel like, ugh. <coughs> what? Is this lily Pulitzer? <laughs> I don't know what I swallowed. I'm dying. Lily Pulitzer Starbucks. They just put this out. Oh no, someone just must have put it out. I would never use this, but it is super exciting to find. Ah, that's rep stall. <laughs> All right, anyway, I feel like the arms are too tight. It doesn't fit, but it is the most wearable piece. And I feel like it's probably one of the nicest pieces that I picked up. Hold on, let me make it work. All right. I don't like this, but aside from everything I don't like, I feel like it looks pretty good. <laughs> All right, another last one. I think it's the first one, but I didn't try it on. I don't, I don't, I don't. This was totally a Lizzie style. Uh, surprisingly enough, it's from Sheen. It's way too small for me, but I like it. I don't know if I would wear it, but I like it. I don't know if I love it, if I want some more of it. Oh my gosh, you know what I do love? Not those, you guessed it. Oh my gosh, teeny, teeny, weeny, tiny. Love the print. I feel like Lily Pulitzer just doesn't make a high enough rise for my liking. Ooh, these two, these are J. Jill. J. Jill's a great brand. I don't know the size though. You can watch me awkwardly try on a couple of pairs of pants. Just found this sophisticated lady jacket. Not that I need another jacket. But I do love the color of this one. I don't know how I feel about all these buckles though. It's really cute. Might be the closest I could find. <laughs> Pretty funny, and I found this one. Oh, Canada my home and native land is that a manatee on there someone just said i sounded good thank you so much appreciate it <laughs> anyone going to the casino <laughs> almost out of here and i think i found the gem of the day if this wasn't yellow i mean do i need it <laughs> i don't think this mustard yellow is really flattering on me but
realized I haven't put together a proper full outfit for you. So I'm gonna do that. All right, looking good so far, but it's all about the layers, baby. Oh, I feel like it needs to be blue. I should get a blue. I hate it. I hate every second of that. I feel like she would have, oh God, lol. I, feel, I can't, this keeps getting stuck on a hanger. I feel like she would have something like this or maybe a bandana on. Oh my gosh, I can't. Hi, my name's Liz McGuire. Oh, the sun is setting. That's how long we've been in there. But that was so much fun, you know. There's a reason why I'm trying to get out of the sun. Cause I'm so golden. All right, I'm looking like a whole wet rat. Cool. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't do like super niche. Let's look for this aesthetic. It's because I can't focus and I, I just wanna see everything in the thrift store and I get excited about all of the aesthetics and all of the styles because I don't have just one style. I don't know. So I hope you enjoyed shopping around, seeing everything that the thrift store had to offer. I got a few books. I got some toys for the kids. I got some KiwiCo boxes, which I was excited about because we love them. I did grab a couple of clothes, but not many, so that's fun. No shoes, sadly. And I got a suitcase for Wentworth. I think I made out, if you wanna see a haul, I don't know, I guess I can do that. But otherwise, subscribe if you're new, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time, bye.